So I call this beautiful and terrible evidence, that we are the state of our bodies. And the reason I call it beautiful and terrible is because it reminds us that what we do to our bodies, we do to ourselves, and what we do to ourselves, we do to our, we do to our bodies. Everything we do is on some level physiological. And it's beautiful because it, it opens up so many possibilities for what we can do and what we can become. And it's terrible for just about the same reason, because those possibilities are not always within our control. Uh, this, is a, this is a discovery with great consequences. So, um, for the uh, skeptics in the audience, my favorite example of this is a disease called Gorman syndrome. And the way Gorman syndrome works is that you get usually a stroke. It causes a, a lesion in a particular part of the brain. <clears throat> and then you become a gourmet foodie. <laughs> you suddenly became, uh, become able to uh, taste better. You become obsessed with food. You uh, it basically find food in wine. Um, and you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of into that sort of thing. So I do wonder if I just have like a lesion somewhere. Um, it's an expensive, it's an expensive disease um, because those restaurants are not cheap. Um, this is this is Whitman. Um, he was a nurse in the Civil War, which is the first modern war, and he saw as a nurse so many states of the human body. Um, he saw people in absolutely dreadful states and how they recovered and how they dealt. And he came up with something that was completely obscene for his time. He saw the body as, as important and alterable in the way that we're beginning to see it now, in the way that largely we do see it now. Um, and he was like the first person that gave us a way of celebrating this physicality. Uh, and he was the first person that gave us a way of seeing the self as fungible. Now, the next step of this that I led to, that I was led to, is that if we are the state of our bodies, then society is the state of our bodies together. Therefore, what we do to our bodies, we do to society. Society is built of the things that we've made ourselves. 